Hello everyone, welcome to Vermo Quickly Part 74 of my Dark Souls 2 Scar, the first sim playthrough. Today we'll be getting the key to the elevators. Right, so you, as you can tell on the top left, I also disabled uh, invasions and most forms of co-op. So I got invaded by Ocean Man, I believe, two more times off screen. And I prefer not to get accidentally killed midway through. I was lucky the first time he invaded me. But I wouldn't be so lucky again. That I did not really see jump that far. At some that doesn't kill. Oh, I didn't see the other one. Good thing he missed. Otherwise, I would have taken a lot of damage there. I'm gonna run back to the bonfire, light a torch so I can light these sconces and the one below. So look how horrible this fucking, or maybe it's not this chain, but I know there's a chain later on that you're just straight up flying above it whenever you walk on it. I'm pretty sure it's that second side area, other than the arm passage, I think. It probably won't be this episode. I have no idea, to be completely honest. Excuse me. I think it's that tower. Not sure, though. Now with these sconces, you don't want to stay close to them because they'll damage you. Also, you can't relight your torch from there, so that's why I went back to the bonfire. Figured I might as well go get all these done at once. Yeah, the AI is not very smart. <laughs> you can easily kill. You can easily get to kill itself on on the fire. Why did that? Why did that do so little damage? Fucking idiot. Okay, now we need to go back up. Unfortunately. So we have a little little thing to deal with. Fuck off. I'll have to come in this way because bullshit. I was able to make it just fine on my playthrough, but I guess I can't this time. I guess switch into a smaller weapon if you're using great swords or anything. Although realistically speaking, this is fucking not worth it. Apparently, it only has dried root there. Definitely not worth the, the multiple. 
flasks. Yeah, that's how they explode, by the way. Do not get hit by that. That will fucking do a lot of damage. That's the way to the next area. We'll deal with this stuff up here first, though. I dodged, but okay. Luckily, this area is extremely short. So you won't have to worry about too much, really. Get one of these mages over here. Titanite and Recollection. Recollection. Hex traded by the Children of Dark. Fire multiple Dark Orbs to seek their target. Hexes that grant a fleeting volition to Dark have existed from ancient times, and it appears that the Children of Dark have some recollection of the creator of these spells. Catalyst Staff. Excuse me. Um, nope. Should have cut himself there, but whatever. Fucking useless ass room. Whatever. This one should be the one we have to go to, if I remember correctly. Yeah. That uh, should lead us to a room with a bunch of those fatties. Such a weird enemy, though. As long as you're careful and let them kill, kill themselves, you should be fine. You can very easily die there. Don't rush over there because there's another one waiting in the hallway and another one on the elevator. So we get the what, Scorching Iron Scepter. A Scorching Hot Iron Scepter used to activate contraptions by transferring heat to Broom Tower. When the old Iron King wrestled the dilapidated region from the Kingdom of Ven, the act required all the resources the enfeebled Lord could muster. But with the discovery of this iron-producing miracle, he was reborn as a powerful leader. This one's easy enough, though, as long as you're gonna rush back here. Same thing with the one in the elevator. We're also done it. it. You can just teleport back if you want, because we're completely done with this area. This little spot, we got the only item we need. In the meantime, you'll wanna. You'll want to put the silver cat ring on. I don't know if it'll actually work. We won't have to find out. But we're going to be doing some fucking vertical parkour shit. Because of course we are. Because everybody knows Dark Souls players love fucking parkour. With the absolute ridiculously limited movement mechanics in this game. I still don't understand why every fucking Souls game, ha Souls game has to have... 
at least one fucking vertical nightmare area. This game has a bunch as well. It's annoying as hell. So first we'll get the tower key. Or no, first we'll try to get that... The, as far as I'm aware, the only... Twinkling... Or the only Titan Lizard, in my, from my knowledge, in this entire area. And after that, we'll try to get, we'll go get the tower key, if I remember where it is. I think I do, but I don't know. I could be completely wrong. So get ready to run and jump. Uh, I missed it. Oops. Okay, cool. Before you get this first try, get ready to, um... Yeah, I want to go with R2, right? I just had to for a second. As you can see, there's a Titanite Lizard right fucking there. Good. First try this time. Okay, so that cat ring was not necessary. I'll just teleport back because I don't want to fuck those elevators. So I swear to God, I hear, I hear an enemy. Now we want to use this elevator. Can we get to it in time? And no. That would do too much damage. Because I think it's this elevator. I think that one doesn't move. I think it's over here. I am right, yes. There's a couple of these barrel fucks over here. So if you're like me and fucking waste an enormous amount of souls on firebombs, blow them up. Now, when you, when you go out here, you want to be careful, because there's a couple giants that'll appear out of the ground, and I need to type as well. You do not want to fight all three at once. Try to bait one out. And then we can fight them in here, we fight the second one more towards the left, and then the third one, we have the entire area to uh, fight. Good, good. I walk out here until the second one appears. I think he appears more out here. Yeah. Oh, that's not the one. Okay, don't go towards the right, otherwise you'll get the, you'll get the next one as well. This is not the one I remember. I remember this is the third one. I guess I went immediately towards the left whenever I came out here originally. Or the right, I mean. The other one should awake around over here, yeah. So 
To my knowledge, the big mace one that we just fought, I'm pretty sure those ones fight the exact same as the normal ones do. They just have, like, a different... I think they do bleed, though, as well. And maybe a little more damage, I'm not sure. Grab everything out here. Also, we'll get a bunch of random items in the tower key. Which is vital to getting through this area. Think about it, I don't think you need it for the final boss, but you need it for, like, everything else, so. Tower key. Key that opens the door to Broom Tower. Long ago, the tower used to produce a seemingly endless supply of iron. The king used it to create iron soldiers in an iron castle. Legend has it he even tried his hand at forging a dragon out of iron. Do we get to fight that? Don't think we do. That's unfortunate. A vehicle boss. Although, considering FromSoft's track record with dragons, it probably would have been crap anyways. Because there are only three good dragons in the entire series. Two, actually. There's, uh... Calamite from Dark Souls 1. And then there's Madeir. They're the only good dragons in the entire series, in my opinion. The Guardian Dragon isn't horrible, but it's nothing special. It's definitely not memorable. And the fuck- and Sin is- is just straight up overrated. That fight was boring as fuck. Now we have one more thing to do before we end this episode. Go to the first bonfire, there's another there's an item that's opened up now that we have the elevators working. Yep. That's the one we came from. Uh you get the baneful bird ring as you can see. A uh, baneful bird ring. Ring of the ring of rain. The traitor reduces stamina loss when blocking with shield. Rain was an agile swordsman who served King Vendrick, but after resigning from his post, he reconsidered his way of life and was born again as a stalwart warrior. Yeah, it just reduces the amount of da stamina damage you take from getting kicked while you hold up a shield. And this ladder, this elevator just leads to a place we've already been to, and we have no reason to go back to. Yeah, at least right there. Fucking love Dark Souls 2 jumping. Half the time it'll actually go where you want to go. The other half of the time it'll jump half an inch off the ground and make you basically fall like an anvil. Fucking stupidity bullshit. I'm just going to teleport back to the bonfire then. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Have a nice day and stay safe.